how to create a free online e-commerce store using Square. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use squareup.com as your free website builder to start selling products online. So let's get into it. Now, squareup.com is actually a very, very nice website where you can start creating your own website, your own e-commerce store for free. So it's not Squarespace. A lot of people confuse the both together. This is not Squarespace, this is squareup.com. Squarespace is a different platform where you actually have to pay to create a e-commerce store or website while well, this application is available for free so first off you're just going to take a look at their basic website and if you scroll down you can see you can start reaching more customers online and you're just going to click on start selling online over here and now after that you're going to be led to their page where you can start selling anything online they give you a basic rundown of the different things and features that they are providing now what you're going to do is you're just going to click on get Get started for free now after that you're just gonna fill out your personal details over here I'll do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second now once you have added your personal details you're gonna add details about your business so you're gonna add what kind of business you are running what category does it go in and you're gonna make sure that this information is accurate because you're gonna be selling products and you don't want this to be inaccurate so your store is not gonna fit in with the overall aesthetic so let's just go with a retail store for jewelry and watches and then we're gonna accept credit cards you're gonna add your business name and then you're gonna add your business contact so we're just gonna add a few names now, once you have filled out your basic information, you're going to log into your Square account and this is going to be your basic dashboard. So over here on your basic dashboard, you're going to have your basic navigation on the left. So you can go onto your home page, click over here. Then you have your quick access tab to your home items, orders, transactions, customers and reports. And after that, you can browse all of your products. So your e-commerce items are all going to be over here. Your online sales channels, your items and orders are going to be over here. Any kind of reporting analytics data is going to be here then you have customer details payments and then you have your basic settings for your square account now on the square platform it's very easy and simple to get started this is the best part you can just see over here that i have myself added as a owner then you can tour your dashboard as well and create a dashboard for a owner if you're a manager running the setup so after that on your top right you have your basic notifications then you have your startup guide and you can take a look at this guide if you want to to make sure to activate all of your payment systems on your e-commerce store now the first thing you're going to do is go onto your basic items and start adding your own item catalog now on the item library you can just click on create a item and then this is going to open up a menu where you can add a name for your item so let's just say we are doing necklace and then you're going to add a category for your item so let's just say you can create any category that you want so as you're adding your items you can add your categories as well some basic categories could be like necklaces or earrings if we're running a jewelry store so we're going to go with a necklace category or then we're going to rename this into clover necklace and then we're going to add a description for your item so you're just going to add whatever you want and then once you have done that you're going to add an image and make sure to have a good little image for your product to sell online because that's going to be the biggest impression that your product is going to give off so we're going to upload a image for our product and once you have done that you can add different SKUs and SKU is basically the number you want to denote it by in your own details so these are identification numbers for your product so if you have similar looking product this can help verify what product is what after that you're going to add the unit price so per item you're going to add any price that you want and then you're going to add the amount of stock as well if you want so you can add a stock alert over here and you can view the details of the item you can add custom attributes as well so you can add a attribute name to the item as well so after that you're just going to take a look once you're all set you're just going to click on save and now your product has been uploaded and you can see now with this you're going to have suggestions to add different products as well and you can start adding more products now within your item library you're going to be able to find the discount section which is also very important to run your e-commerce store so if you're running discounts you want to be able to name discount so you can say it's black friday 
So you're going to add a Black Friday discount and the amount might be 40%. Then you're going to add your location. So if it's available for all locations, if it's available for a singular location, or if it's only available on your online website, and then you're just going to click on save. And now this is a 40% discount that I have created. And then you can delete a discount as well. Once a certain time period has expired, so you can just delete the discount from here. Now, after that, you have your sales tax section where you can have a main navigation center to actually view all of your sales and income reports and after that you have your option sections where you can create a item with variation so you can add different options to a singular item let's say that it is bracelet sizes so bracelet sizes and then you can have different sets so you can add size 12 size 23 size 17 like so and you're just going to click on save and just like that you have variable sizes for a singular item now the best thing about adding this in the options is that you can apply this to any item in the item library now you don't have to add these fields constantly you can just go on over and edit the item and then add this detail into your items as well and this is how easy it is to manage your e-commerce setup using the square up platform form it's not that hard and if you still find it to be a bit difficult to understand just go on over to the home section take a good look over your basic dashboard then just take a look at your orders so once you have added all of your product details and all of your necessary information to actually run your website you're gonna go on to Weebly which is Square's sister app or basically it is a combination of Square and Weebly to run your entire store and then you can see now I added Clover Jewelry over here I didn't even create my Weebly account yet this is just a directly from my square dashboard where i created my clover's jewelry website and i can just click over here and view what my website is looking like so you guys saw that i uploaded this image and this is going to be the basic image now once you have done that you can just go on to your weebly homepage and then to start editing your site once it is functional and you've added enough product that you're ready to sell your items you can just click on edit site customize it however you like so we're going to go on to the site editor over here and now you can see now you have a basic editor where you can just click on edit and start editing the layout of your website and both of these tools are free to use and they are best used with each other obviously you can partner up square with wix as well but weebly is its actual parent app and it's going to be a lot more easier for you to design your website using Weebly and Square. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video